In question five, you're asked, inf asked to find information about gradients. Gradients are parallel if they have the same gradient, and perpendicular if it's negative one or the negative inverse of the gradient. So in the case of one, uh, we'll just rearrange that. So it's in the format of y is equal to mx plus c. So m is equal to 2. So any gradient, any uh, line that has the gradient of 2 is parallel to that. Now in number 2, rearranging that or looking at it again, perpendicular occurs when it's negative 1 over the gradient or negative a half. So any function that has the gradient negative a half will be perpendicular to that. In B, you can see the gradient of the first function y is equal to x is 1 and m2 is equal to minus 1. Perpendicular occurs the inverse, negative inverse of the other one. So negative 1 over 1, negative 1. So yes, they are perpendicular. Now in the case of C, you've got the function y is equal to 5x plus 10. The gradient's 5. The perpendicular, negative 1 over m, or negative 1 fifth. So to find the equation, the function that goes through the point 1, 1, we simply plug it in. Well, y is equal to negative 1 fifth x plus 6 over 5. Now, if, as in the answers, you wanted to express that in um, another format, we'll multiply it by 5. Or the general straight line format, I should say. And you can see that. So, a reminder, parallel, same gradient perpendicular, the negative inverse of the gradient.